Hello all. Uh, this video I'm just going to talk about uh, using Arch Linux and what it's been like over the past year. Uh, but first of all, I just want to thank everybody that has uh, contributed to the channel. And I'm just amazed at the number of subscriptions I've uh, received uh, over the year. And also the uh, amazing people that have commented and uh, helped me out with things and everybody's just uh, very friendly and very attentive and it's it uh, I'm really surprised by it um, but I just thought I'd say thank you I very very much appreciate it and uh, I hope I can keep uh, making videos um, not just Arch Linux but I also do some Windows and different Linux distributions. So, uh, thank you. Really, I mean that. Thank you so much. Um, I had one comment ask me why would they want to switch to Arch. And it's kind of tough to think of. as like, why would I use Arch Linux? Or why would I use uh, another operating system over another? It's, you know, the simple answer is it's your choice. Um, the reason I use Arch Linux is just because I can manipulate um, the system the way I want it. I can install packages. Uh, for example, if I'm installing uh, this desktop interface is XFCE4. Uh, but I didn't have to download all of the uh, packages if I didn't want to. Or I can remove packages that I don't want if they were inadvertently installed. Um, a lot of that's to do, of course, with Pac-Man. Uh, that's the package management system in Arch Linux. I realize it's been, I guess, ported or used in other spin-offs of uh, Arch Linux, but I just like the uh, simplicity of using a system that has been, for the most part, this year, really good. Now, there has been a lot of, I shouldn't say a lot, there have, have been its moments where uh, things have broken, but this year has been pretty good. Um, for me, really good. And installation, um, I like the way they changed it. Uh, they took away the end curses. Uh, menu driven thing and once you get used to it, installing it and practicing in a virtual machine it's not that bad really to install it just comes down to a few uh, notes scratched on a piece of paper then eventually you memorize it it's, it's not that hard and uh, maintaining it is very simple you just sudo pacman dash syu uh, synchronizes the mirrors and, and updates if it's needed and as with all Linux distros it updates whatever else you have on your system uh, like if you have wine that's updated if Firefox that's updated um, and so on and uh, I like the fact that the Arch Linux rollback machine is coming back around and I've already downgraded some things that I liked in older versions I wouldn't suggest GNOME users um, as much because GNOME is so much more uh, tightly integrated and you might break something on your system but if you're using XFCE I haven't noticed anything uh, adverse ex effects yet um, another thing too is the Arch Linux user repository um, yeah it's been criticized but I haven't had any problems and what I really like about it is Say if I want to install Conkey, uh, for example, I have a script and a keyboard shortcut, this thing on the side, Conkey. Well, if you do a Yaoart Conkey colors, dash colors, it will download all of the things that you need, like sensors and the MS, the MS Core fonts and the relative uh, other fonts you'd need for Conkey colors, and it compiles it. As you as it's downloading, it compiles and it sets everything up. You don't have to do anything, 
in contrast, in Ubuntu, what I found, the way I had, I had to put it together in different parts. You know, I had to one site get this, another site get this, and then update Ubuntu, this and that. Whereas the user repository, I was just all one um, uh, session, basically. And it's compiled and ready and set for you to go. I also like the the, uh, the speed as well. I mean, who doesn't like a fast system? <laughs> and I recently decided to try this out on a solid state drive. Now I'm I'm losing space. I'm only using a 40 gig solid state drive, but the uh, startup times and application launch times are awesome. It's just I'm astounded. Uh, like for example, if I use System D analyze, uh, you can see. Uh, startup times, kernel, and user space total being 2.5 seconds uh, to initialize. <laughs> That's pretty quick, over 30 seconds or 40 seconds. That's quite a difference. Uh, you can also blame, basically blame what's uh, taking so long, and always it's WICD service, but that's fine. Uh, NetC, NetCL um, actually makes this more like 8 seconds. Still no big deal, but uh, WICD kind of... Uh, launches after the system's loaded so it takes a few seconds probably that extra eight seconds to uh, connect but uh, mix and match I don't mind and uh, responsiveness of the system and customization like I you know obviously I customized the way it came out of the box it's different logos and uh, teams and uh, icon sets and I haven't customized the mouse so I'm fine with the way it is and uh, I installed whisker menu and it's just that I guess that is just the, being able to do what you want with it you know I can also install open box and run alongside or I could try gnome 3 but I'm happy with the way this is now um, I can turn on uh, the fusion icon I have it set to start uh, with it, I forget what the uh, flag is. I think dash n, fusion icon dash n. So it doesn't actually start compiz, it's just the basic uh, XFCE window manager with the snapping and stuff. But it's easy enough to turn on if I uh, right click here. Now, for some reason, it has compiz selected. And we'll go back and I'll try it again. And we'll take a look. There we go. I have a nice kind of glass look. I know where these buttons are or whatever, just keyboard shortcuts, so I don't need them. Uh, the most the reason I use Comp is, or like Comp is, it's the zoom in ability. It's the smoothest one I've ever seen or ever used so far over other. Uh, implementations and you can zoom in like very very close if you wish so I, I think that's uh you know comp is itself and being able to build it and read the forms and how to get the pretty much the most out of comp is uh, in Arch Linux is uh, is right for me that's you know I like that other things uh I was uh, working on uh, installing um, Gentoo again, and I have it saved, and it's compiling. It's in the middle of compiling uh, Firefox, which is like s installing an, an operating system in itself for some reason in uh, Gentoo. I'm not sure why, but it is taking a long time. But uh, so now I have the uh, effects going. I actually closed this. And as that's running in the background with con Compass, and as I'm recording, I can just open up uh, Stronghold Crusader and play a game. And it uh, might take a bit more time to load because it is under stress, but. So I'm um, two uh, solid ends here if you've ever played this game. Uh, granary. But as you can see, I'm playing this game and it's a little laggy.
But don't forget, I set the compile options in uh, Gen to to use all six six cores. Okay, these guys are a little bit uh, talkative today, and let me see if I zoom out. It's not too bad though. It's pretty neat. And where's where's my enemies? There's one there. And where's the other? Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, I've played this game for years. <laughs> Solid than the just. Yeah, right. Okay. So, I'm going to exit out of here. I don't need to play this game. But as you can see, <clears throat> I haven't crashed. Nothing's uh, gone wrong. Um, it's still doing its compilation in the background. <laughs> and, uh, this is 1080p full screen, so you can keep that in mind. And uh, and you can see on the con key here, my CPU's cores are pinned, almost pretty much pinned to 100%. And I'm still able to use the system. Uh, comparing that to, let's say, a Windows system, you'd have to get third-party software to manage the uh, CPU um, usage. But in this case, uh, more... Uh, a nod towards Linux itself and the way it handles uh, CPU processing and stuff I think is uh, better overall in some cases but uh, as I said that's some of the reasons I use Arch Linux is the slimline install routine you can install what you want it, you don't have to install like I don't use office programs so I don't need that, so I don't install it. Uh, I don't use a server, so I don't need to have like the a server. Sorry, I don't use a printer, so I don't need the cup server running in the background if I don't want it. And I can mix and match terminals. Uh, Control T opens the XFCE terminal, and then uh, another one opens the older version two GNOME terminal. And as you can see here, I have System Monitor, and that's an older version as well. So it has System here. <laughs> I like this one too. It's kind of neat. But uh, yeah, so that's why I use Arch Linux primarily. I said I am aware of uh, <clears throat> there are times when things don't go right. So I'm going to try uh, unloading uh, Compiz. And everything seems to be fine. And uh, I think that's it. But I just wanted to thank everybody um, that has been on the channel. And especially this year. It's just been great. And uh, I know the holidays are kind of up, coming up. And however you celebrate them, uh, have a good time and be safe. And uh, I'll probably post something before the end of the year. But uh, I just wanted to get this video up and just, you know, say thank you. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, and take care, everybody, and bye for now.